How does a liquefaction plant work? A liquefaction plant is first of all two liquefaction trains, or to put it simply, two fridges, each consisting of a compression building, an air-cooled chiller, two cold boxes, a sequence of process towers, and also two tanks, a long jetty and a loading platform. To begin with, the unprocessed gas is transported through buried pipes straight from the gas field to the plant. Step 1. Cleaning. Here, in the process towers, the gas is separated from all the elements that would solidify during the cooling process and damage the machinery. Carbon dioxide, water, mercury and sulphur. Step 2. The gas is sent to the cold boxes, a bit like massive freezers, to be cooled down to a final temperature of minus 160 Celsius. This process reduces its volume 600-fold. Now in liquid form, it is transferred to the tanks to be stored for a few days before being loaded into the next LNG tanker when it arrives. Here, 23,000 cubic meters are converted and stored every day, the equivalent of one-sixth of a tank. And since a ship comes to fill up every six days, there's always a tank on standby. So that's the first step. For the next, we'll meet up at the LNG terminal after a few days at sea.